By the way, listen, uh, <laughs> this is uh, Fly by Midnight and Carly Page, yep. right? So you have Slavo and you got Justin over here. You've come back to uh, Pop Dust uh, after being here about a year ago, right? Yeah, it feels like wow, it. Wow, it's been almost a year, I yeah. think. Yeah, it's crazy to think like how much could change in a year. I know you guys are in a new office and, yeah. and we're in like a new, I guess kind of new phase of our career. What too. were we, we were here for what, XL, I think? I think It was XL. So. Yeah, I remember that was a while ago in that release. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely. It was. I mean, but it wasn't really that long ago in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it was definitely like at latest the springtime last year. So yeah. you're in two months, possibly. Crazy. Anyway, time flies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, I want to get to uh, the last single you had, "All the Feels." Yep. All right, because I was listening to that a little bit and sort of like listening to, I mean, the retro pop. You know what I mean? I, I heard. You know, just just getting reacquainted to the music, um, it it it's got so much 2000s, so much 90s, mm -hmm. so much 80s. I mean, it's really you know tagging pop in a lot of you know my favorite generations, uh, and you know making nostalgia. I think a lot of the lyrics just kind of go back to like old fashioned like let's have fun with pop music. Yeah. You know, um, so uh, listen, um, what I'd like, ha ha how about you, Carly? Why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Carly Page, I'm mm -hmm. 21 and I'm an artist and uh, I've just been working on writing and writing and writing and just started releasing music for the first time this year. Mm -hmm. um, and these guys hit me up a while back and we wrote together and we made an awesome song. And now we're besties. Now we're, now we're wow. besties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when was it? So when was that? When, how long ago was that? that they hit me up. Yeah, that you guys not, guys got not connected. Not that long ago. Not that long ago. It, right? Yeah, because we wrote we wrote when we were in LA, and that was. I uh, released, I released "Babe" my my second single in May. Which is mm -hmm. fire. Thank Super you. Super fire. Everything she puts out <laughs> is. is like, um really and good. yeah, and they messaged me on Instagram, and they had messaged me for oh, my first single. Interesting. Slid right into those DMs. Right into those DMs. <laughs> uh, they had messaged me for my first single and had said like, "Love the vibe," and I just sent back like a heart. And, oh, cool! And then they hit me up again for the next single, and I clicked on their page and watched some of their videos, and I was like, "Dang, I like I like their vibe. Like this is cool." And I said, "I like your vibe." <laughs> <laughs> and um, and they were like, "We're coming to LA. We're playing a show. If you have any days free, we'd love to write." And I had like the weekend off, so we wrote on a Sunday. I saw them wow. play on a Tuesday. We wrote on a Sunday. That's so yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, and you came out to the show, which was yeah. really cool. Um, awesome. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, like we, what was really cool about the session too is we kind of came in with no expectations of who we were writing for. Right? We never really spoke about. Yeah, that. Yeah, it was just kind of um, like that's just right. And and then it kind of organically became like a this, duet like, thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it worked. Wow, or that's tri cool. triad. Right. Triet, yeah. Triet is that it's an awkward, like third wheel <laughs> duet. <laughs> Serendipity, you know. Um, you know, it's interesting. Actually, Instagrams for a lot of interesting people together. Just yeah. Because of the, maybe the format. I don't know. Do you guys? What do you guys think about how Instagram has affected music, especially last three months? Even. Like it's sure. my. It's almost. I feel like Instagram almost has become an artist's website. It's like you post 100%. all of your cool all of your content there all of your links to everything there and you can interact with your fans and everything so it's a really important tool i think yeah I, I mean for us too it, it's like it's an opportunity to obviously show a professional side of you but also mm -hmm. like the story feature is so um it gives you like real insight on your day to day which yeah. i think is cool and really allows you to kind of for slave and i especially because a lot of the content we post is um is very professional but but the stories are very like just us being goofy and right right it's like a, a little bit of it's that. a really cool contrast um similar to our original videos and our cover videos too where mm -hmm. our cover videos are more just us like shooting shit and kind of just jumping around you know um compared to originals that are very like formatted and, and have mm -hmm. a real concept and stuff behind it so. mm -hmm. well what about the video for uh, all the feels uh that's that's a bit <laughs> that's a bit wild <laughs> but yeah that video um <laughs> Uh, yeah, the llamas. What were you going to say about the llamas, Saliva? Oh, they were just very last minute. I remember we had the idea of doing... The hands were like the most significant part that we'd come up with. Uh -huh. If you see, the, they come off the side of the screen. And um, I guess, I don't know if it was more of like a comedic part of it or of just like, why are there llamas in this video? It's just something that we love doing things that are kind of, uh, I don't know, you wouldn't expect to see. And so our, our manager was actually hanging out with us and we, we just came across a picture of a llama. 
We were like, how are we supposed to get llamas in a video? Like, who knows who owns llamas? Yo, and he, he just, actually worked He just, with, like, speed dialed that. Who knows so a guy? Quick. He knew a whole farm Wait. that had a, a whole group He's of He's like, llamas. hold up, I know a guy. <laughs> I know a guy, Best just like that. Ever. And then uh, the, the funny story behind it is there, there's a scene where Salevo and I are walking these two llamas, and uh, the amazing uh, llama caretaker was like, hey, um, you kind of got to show dominance within the first five seconds of grabbing it, because otherwise they're going to, like, kind of, like, like, take you around or whatever. Yeah. Um, so Salevo kind of shows dominance and I'm pet mine and, and, and mine was like yo you're in for it man so we roll in action and Salevo's kind of walking with his and mine's like dragging on the floor and uh yeah if you go back and watch that edit I chopped it a lot there's like a really? lot of like quick oh here you go here you go because it was hard it was hard to capture a moment where he wasn't like getting pulled <laughs> <laughs> yeah my llama was like nah dude nah, nah, <laughs> but, it, but it was a great video and it was a uh, it was a really fun one for us we were really inspired by uh, what was the director we were watching a lot of uh, Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson. Re oh, interesting. Even from the color perspective, the way yeah. how everything was so symmetrical, we wanted the vintage vibe to come through a lot. So. And a big thing for our videos, um, which an exciting thing that we could say here is that we just filmed uh, the official video for I Feel While Carly Was In Town. Really? Um, and, wow, uh, very cool. And, and what we really strive to do with our originals is just give something very different every time. And mm -hmm. all the feels are very different and just say it was very different. And now, um, I don't want to give away too much, but I feel it is like in such a different vein than anything we've ever done before. Yeah. And it's so... Um, such an art piece. Yeah, it's, it really it's like such a, a journey. And it's, oh, it's, it's yeah. crazy. And well, it was the first music video I'd ever she killed been it. in she or been a really? part of. So Very it was a really cool. awesome experience. These guys were like super supportive and just like, they're like, you got this, you're, you're killing it. And I'm like, okay. She was awesome. <laughs> but yeah. 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 These guys are very positive, you know. Yeah. Good people to be around, and, yeah. you know. Good music. vibes. Yeah, yeah, and it's really cool that you edited the video as well. Thanks, appreciate you it. Know, uh, what's your favorite Wes Anderson movie? Um, I actually really liked, um, there was one that came out where it was, it was Aquatic or something like that. I forget yeah, what the Life Aquatic. Aquatic. Life Aquatic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I actually really like that one. Mine's like, uh, 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 Moonrise, right? Moonrise yeah, is cool too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Moonrise came out? We didn't I want to see the new one. The we didn't see one. the dog one yet. Um, I haven't seen it the, either. What's it called? Isle of Dogs. Uh, Life of, uh, Isle of Dogs, Isle yeah. Puppet one? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Puppetry is a lost art, really. Oh, Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, we, we love watching different forms of media to be inspired. Um, for, for the I Feel video, we kind of partnered up with a really, really, um, just, how do you even describe Richard Clarkson's products, the clouds and everything? It's just very modern. I mean, where we found it was literally a modern Instagram site mm -hmm. that kind of promoted all cool modern things. And uh, yeah, it's just very forward thinking, very like almost futuristic mm, vibe. It has like a very sleek, clean look to it. And uh, I don't know if you want to give away the product that we use. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's just it's just clouds and and really integrating um, clouds, <laughs> uh, right? Like, and it sounds crazy and vague, it's more in depth than that, though. Yeah, yeah, but we'll, it, we'll save that for the yeah. The we viewer. were Salem and I were getting a haircut in the city, and he came across it on Instagram. And as soon as we looked at it, looked at it, I was like. Yeah, we're, it's gonna be in the video. We're and Carly's such a trooper too. We kind of like gave her the treatment like the day before, and we're like, "Hey, this is what we're doing, right?" And it was this Hope list like of like all of these props that I was like, "I'm down, <laughs> I'm in. I don't know, I don't know what's what gonna is. happen here, but I'm so in." Yeah, you kind of like came came into it head first, didn't even ask <laughs> any questions, and yeah, yeah very courageous. So. Yeah, you're building you a lot of anticipation because now I'm very curious well, to good. see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. It's gonna be good. You know, and, and just to talk about the contrast between the two, uh, all the feels, and, and I feel it, because, uh, you know, obviously, you, you know, you got all the feels. It feels very anthem -y, uh yet modern, like 90s modern, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. definitely, like, what's going on right now, but, uh, you know, like, mid-90s, early mid-90s. It's got, like, a little flair in the post-chorus, like, a boy band moment, too, which is kind of cool, with yeah. the gang vocal, like, very positive, yeah. like, gang, vibe. Gang. Yeah. 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 It's kind of think where we're going. We referenced actually pretty much a couple times, even just the way they presented their gang vocals when they did some stuff. Mm -hmm. I remember we referenced them a little bit. It was such a quick ride, and even, even I feel it was a really quick ride, too. Was, we took yeah. one break to grab a... Uh, what, what some fat sows sandwiches. You remember, yeah. It was so Freaking. good. Freaking, we got subs like this long, oh, and they were... Like, and ate all of the food, and then we had to get vocals, and it was like, maybe you shouldn't have eaten the entire sandwich. <laughs> Another <laughs> fun fact to that, too, is when we were done writing the song, we wanted to get a reference, so we had Carly cut the vocals there and we weren't really taking it seriously mm -hmm. we just kind of even you did like a demo but she's so good that literally within the five takes she did her entire verse and chorus of the song is literally from that those five takes <laughs> from the night that we wrote it she just like went in and kind of just so, did a little something wow and sure. then funny enough um we needed to get her to record the rest of the song so we hit up our uh, our boy uh, luke who's over in la and she recorded it in la and we recorded our parts in new york yeah nice. and uh, they're both from arizona so 
Yeah, Luke little. was Luke was from Arizona. And I was little. like, what? <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's funny you said clouds because chilly, uh, chill, airy vibe was actually what I described uh, the song when I heard it. It's really cool. You know, it it definitely. Man, like more more like late '90s, uh, mid 2000s too. Like mm -hmm. like that kind of a thing where, like I don't know, like uh, management or LMFAO kind of like a little bit in the production mm -hmm. style. You know, I mean, how much does um, does the 2000s influence your guys? It's funny because we actually do a series called the Boombox series, and um, we already put it out a little while ago. It's three songs that are from three female artists from the early 2000s era, yeah. and uh, so I would say. Uh, very much so. Yeah, and I think we listen to that stuff all the time. I'm sure you're a big fan of 2000s too. Yeah, um, yeah a, a big, a big thing you were referencing like retro pop before, mm -hmm. and, and the reason we love calling our music that is, is it's almost vague enough to be able to pull from different generations. Yeah. You know, yeah. to kind of be able to go 2000s, and then you said before like there's like an 80s bass groove, and yeah. then there's like a 90s like anthemic vibe. You know, it really, it kind of doesn't like put us in a corner and have to make us stick to something yeah, yeah. it excites you about all these things you're like wow it's like a really really wonderful combination of, of flavor in my mouth but in my ears yeah <laughs> and, uh, the thing about um i feel it too which is kind of cool it's the first time we almost touched a little bit of r&b i think nice. it has a very like even with the way the chords sit and how like chill i threw some 707 like yeah, cowbell stuff in there together it's like that mm -hmm. it, it, it just like it goes to another place and then it comes back and it's wow Wow, really wonderful. And Carly's voice on it was super inspiring too. I think, um, I remember when we were writing it, uh, there were a lot of times that uh, we were like, Carly, just sing it, you sing it, and let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> and everything sounded great. It was almost like a crutch kind of, because mm -hmm. everything she sang sounded so. The melodies she came up with for that song too, super like in cool. general, she's great. Thank you, know, you guys, you're making me blush. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Any songwriters out there. there we we want to write with you too, but Carly's great. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, it, and also like, the writing scene in LA and New York, you're working with so many people, and I'm sure you could attest to this too, Carly, but mm -hmm. there are people you vibe with and people you don't. Even people that we love, you know, as friends, sometimes we don't vibe with in a writing yeah. room. Mm -hmm. and, and it just happened so organically, and there was no. Yeah, it was a it was an interesting write, because I didn't know what I was walking into. I, I normally don't set up my own sessions. My manager mm -hmm. will set, set things up, and it was like, okay, yeah, let's figure it out. And, and we walked in, and it was super comfortable, and it just felt like, we had known each other almost. It was just like, we're just wow. hanging out. So it was good. That's a very really good cool. Situation. I, I have this thing here and um, it's called the magic box. <laughs> magic box. And, and there's <laughs> questions. Very magical. It, wow. it is, it's, it's definitely magical. And I have a, I have the shaker, like I was saying. So, because I wanna, I wanna give you guys the opportunity to shake the magic box, so I can shake the shaker. You guys shake it. Doing it. Uh, shake it, but yeah, don't break yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you guys each answer, and pick a question? And... Oh God. <laughs> no, you're definitely gonna get the worst one. <laughs> All right, cool. I got one. Oh. Probably wanna read my question to me. <laughs> what? If you were to get rid of one state in the U.S., which would it be and why? Oh this is really tough. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's that's like hardcore. Listen, what I if we have know. to tour the state? Uh, I, well, they well see no, this. You're just we're, saying, we're leaving for tour saying, tonight, yeah, so I would avoid. I, I don't know. That's, um, that's up to you. Nothing personal, but I think Alaska, because it's so cold there. It's so cold. <laughs> like, why would you want to live in Alaska? No offense. I actually have family that lives in Alaska too. Mm. So I'll say well, Alaska. They're not gonna talk to you anymore. You're like, I don't have a real answer to that. I question. don't know. <laughs> that's not real too. Alaska. Are, I love are you gonna really tour in Alaska, Alaska. too? Alaska. <laughs> Alaska. We'll come. Hang. They'll they'll still be happy you come out there. I, I have who, no who idea. Comes what, what, what would you? What I would? do not have an answer. Yeah. I do not. He's probably smarter. You don't answer. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm scared. Do you want to read? I would love to. Oh my gosh, I get to read Justin's. This is great. Oh, she got such an easy one. Oh, no, I'm not going to have an answer to it. You watch. What is your favorite color? Oh. Can we guess one? Yeah. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. I no, wait. Like, um, yours would be like red. I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go blue. Gray. I know that sounds like it's not a color, uh, but gray is my favorite color. Okay, that's cool. Okay. I'm into yeah. it. But blue is there. Blue okay. is in my, in my face. It's a unique yeah, answer. Right. For you. Right. It's, it's up there. All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> that's a gift. <laughs> it just keeps going. So, Libby, would you like to read my? Uh, oh, please. Yeah. Oh, is there? Did, did the <laughs> fortune, oh. oh, listen. It's a it's a fortune cookie without yeah, a fortune. Yeah, yeah. No, the thing fell off. It's all right. I'll do it's a, actually just like a more meaningful question. You have to figure out what it is. That, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, what is my question in life? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> like, That's mine doesn't have a question. So the question is, Justin, what did you buy with your first paycheck as an artist? 
McDonald's. Um, <laughs> probably close, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Close, right. I would say. Or, or uh, for for Salevo and I, we probably put it back into a video, right? Because yeah. when we first started Fly by Midnight, we didn't have like a business account set up, so whatever money we made from music, like we didn't even take it ourselves. It just went like. Oh, this is great money, and we gotta give it back to the next <laughs> video, you know. Um, so yeah, I would, it probably went into karaoke or one of those other singles. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, but if you're gonna put it in something, what better way to yeah. yep. reinvest it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, um, thank you very much. W would you tell the people uh, at home where you guys can uh, be found on, on the socials? Uh, on Instagram and everything, I'm Carly Page Music. Yeah. And uh, Fly By Midnight everywhere right for the most part yeah there's yeah. a couple underscores you, and stuff you type like in fly by fly midnight and our faces are gonna annoyingly pop up everywhere <laughs> annoying. so and uh and the single um is uh yeah it's gonna be great so i'm looking forward to it Get all right it. all right thanks guys yeah. thank uh, you thank and you this has us. been pop dust uh see you later peace peace Bye.